it's me from coloringqueen.net and today I've got a little book from Japan and it's super cute it's filled with very intricate details so it may not be for everyone now when I say little I do mean little so there it is up against um, Imaginorphia and you can see where my hands are here so it's quite small in comparison it's got a cute little dust jacket on it that's very glossy you could color that in with gel pens if you wanted to some advertisements on the inner cover and then the card cover is slightly glossy as well so you could color that in with gel pens as well now that's very indicative of what you're going to find inside very small illustrations so it may not be for everybody this book I think it's super cute and super quirky now unusually some of it is colour printed which is unusual in our colouring books. So we've got a visual thumbnail index here. And now we come down to the drawings. So look how fine and itty bitty these are. I'll just zoom in so you can get a closer look. See how tiny, tiny they are? You're going to need your fine liners for that one. Now the artwork does run to the centre of the book, but it should push down after a little bit of use, or I may have to get Mr Muscles onto it. The drawings are super cute and quirky. Lots of fun little pattern scenes and lots of cute little doodles. They're very small images though, so you know, look at things like this. I'll just zoom in so that you can see. It's very, very small. Some of these I wouldn't even bother to try and colour in the individual bits. I just colour wash over them because there's no way I can see those little tiny things. But surprisingly, even though I don't like itty bitty things usually, I've been dying to film this book so that I could start colouring it in because it just really appeals to my, I like cute and simple type drawings and this has got both of those things in the bucket load. And we've got bunny rabbits and kitty cats. I just couldn't imagine colouring these tiny little things individually. Like, that's a little lion there. I mean, I just couldn't do it. I think I'd just colour wash over anything like that. And now we've got this long vertical spread. And again, very, very detailed. And another vertical spread.
And look at this one. That is just so detailed. Look at all those tiny, tiny, tiny little things in there. Oh, take days to colour that. And now we've got some coloured inspirational images. And look, people have actually attempted to colour in all of those little itty bitty things, but they've left some spaces white, which is good because it really sort of pops when you leave a few things white sometimes. They've even done that vertical one in colour. And those massive ones. And look how they've used the colour. It's gradually fading over. And some cute little things at the back. Just on little single little images. You could cut these two out because they're not, they don't have anything on the back. And that's it for our little tiny book from Japan. The links to buy it are below the video. Until next time, happy colouring.